This will be Lexi Graber. <laughs> Keeping it loose on the sidelines. They're reigning NCAA floor exercise champion. Kathy, interesting story about her, how she decided to take that graduate year because of COVID. After last year's national championship, right yeah. after she won, what did Dana say? <laughs> well, are you coming back? Are you coming back? <laughs> yeah. Well, here she is, graduate student for Alabama and a treat to watch on floor, Lexi Graber. Lily Hudson before 99125. This routine is wonderful choreography. She has great musicality. I watched her do two dance throughs yesterday in training, just perfecting every single piece. The choreography, putting full energy. Alabama has a great opportunity here. Utah opened the door just a little. They have two scores in the 9-7, so they'll have to count one of those. On the left now, that's Reagan Smith mounting the beam for Oklahoma after Carly Woodard scored a 9-9-1-2-5 over there. They have three scores for the Sooners on beam, 9-9 plus. Beautiful footwork into those leaps on floor. Not giving up any tenths of a point here on this floor exercise routine. Reagan Smith, back handspring layout, solid. And a huge pike double back, strong finish. I love the nod of the head there at the end of that routine. <laughs> Love this combination here. Straddle half into the back hands from swing down. Seeing some really excellent beam work here. Morgan Smith also from the Dallas Fort Worth area, Louisville, Texas. And a US national team member. Very successful internationally. Well known for her beam work. Back handspring to a nice high gainer full. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Number one in the country on that event, and she delivers. What a rotation for the Sooners. Three scores, 9-9 nine, nine plus. The low score will be dropped at 9-7-8-5. The Sooners, with the lead coming into this rotation, will extend it a little bit. They're already in the lead, as Utah is finished on bars. Their final bar performer, Crystal Issa, had a 9-7. So Oklahoma will have the lead after three of four rotations. Utah will be 